welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a what I got for Christmas video, which all YouTubers do. Um, little disclaimer, if you don't like these kind of videos, you should, if you watch YouTube videos, you should know what this video entails. Uh, if you don't like hauls or people showing what they've got, then this isn't the video for you, then click out now because it just saves everybody the hassle. And a little quick disclaimer, I'm not going to show everything I got for Christmas just because I feel that it's it's not necessary. Um, because my birthday is quite close to Christmas. My birthday's in March and I always like to do what I got for my birthday video. Because um, last year I never done a what I got for my Christmas video, I don't think, because I didn't want to do two videos in the same year. And I wasn't going to film this video, but then I decided at the last minute to. Anyway, I'm rambling on. So I'm just going to show you my main stuff and what my initial family got. So Santa and, you know, my mum and my dad. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the thing I am wearing. I will give you a close-up of it so you can see it in detail because I, I do know I'm rather far away. And it is a Pandora bracelet. And on said Pandora bracelet, I have two charms. So the Pandora bracelet itself was from my mum and my dad. And then I have a Cinderella pumpkin carriage charm, which was my first charm, which was from my grandpa. And then my gran gave me Christmas money and we went out shopping a couple of days ago. And I knew straight away when she gave me money that I wanted to get another charm for my bracelet so I got this little love heart one so they're both Cinderella themed there is so many Pandora charms I want um, but these are the two that I've got just now so the carriage moves around a lot but the love hearts it doesn't move around and I got went into the shop and actually got measured because I have like the funniest wrists because my wrists are so small so this bracelet is 17 centimeters and as you can see there is a little bit of a gap here but obviously you want there to be a gap because if you're putting charms on you need there to be an extra bit of room. So I do recommend that if you're looking to get like a bracelet and load it with charms. If you're usually like 18 maybe get like a 19 or a 20 bracelet just so you've got more room to load charms onto it. So that is my Disney bracelet. I cannot wait to just load it with Disney charms. So this is a close-up of my Pandora bracelet. So this is the first charm here. This is Cinderella's pumpkin carriage. And then the other charm I got, which is round here, I'm just trying to it's not wanting to twist around. There we go. Is a little love heart. It's gonna be really hard to show. But on one side it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And then on the other side, it's not going to flip around. Oh, there we go. It's got lots of little blue stars. So two really cute Cinderella charms I've got so far on my Pandora bracelet. My next two Christmas presents are technology related. So I'll show my first one. And it is, I got... Yeah, my phone's talking to me, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I got a new phone case for my iPhone 7. I got my iPhone 7 away back in September and I deliberately didn't buy a case for it because I kind of had a funny feeling somebody was going to get me a case for Christmas. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a case to only have it on my phone for like a couple of months to get one for Christmas. So my phone is rose gold so i didn't want to get a phone case that would completely take away the rose gold color because it's a really nice color itself so my phone case is transparent and if you move it around it's got like iridescent purple oops purple glitter in it and little like silver triangles so it's one of these ones that you move around and it's got glitter in it so sorry if my phone's talking it's just that every time i move my phone it's really sensitive it talks so um, you can still see the rose gold but you've still got that little bit of glitter and it's it's quite a solid case and I love the way it makes my phone feel. It makes my phone really chunky and nice to hold. My big... 
Well, it, have to look at the video. It's talking, so you know it's technology. <laughs> My big main Christmas present was an iPad! I got an iPad and it's rose gold to match my phone. I never asked for a rose gold iPad by the way, that was just my, that was just Santa being very thoughtful and clever. So this is an iPad Pro and it's massive. My mum's got an iPad and I'm used to working with my mum's iPad so this is huge compared to what I'm used to. Um, my parents decided to get me an iPad because I love using my phone. I think voiceover on the Apple technology is great and I we have we have Netflix now so I watch Netflix a lot of the time and I was using my mum's iPad to watch Netflix. So they got me my own iPad so I could watch my own Netflix shows on it whenever I wanted and also because um, I can watch my YouTube videos on here whenever I want because using voiceover on my iPad and just navigating websites on my iPad is so much easier than my laptop. I'm actually worried now that I've got this iPad because I'm scared that I'm never going to use my laptop again <laughs> except for editing and, and whatnot. So this is my baby. It came with this case as well but you know it's just a boring black case. Um, this isn't really like a cover, this is more like a travel case to protect it. So I am looking into getting a proper case for my iPad. Can't find any so far, I've been out a few times but every time I've seen um, cases they've just been like normal iPad cases, I haven't seen iPad Pro cases. So if you know any cool places where I can get iPad Pro cases, let me know. Preferably Disney but you know, I also like sea life and unicorns, just anything girly and sparkly I'm okay with. And the last technology present I received were these headphones. These are Trex Titanium headphones and what makes these really special is they sit on your cheekbones here so you can wear them with the band at the back of your head which I don't do because I have a very small head or at the top like a hairband but these um, cheek bits at the side basically sit on your cheekbones and they send vibrations through the headphones so basically these earphones allow you to walk about outside and still be able to hear people talking to you or cars or anything that can be a hazard to you so my parents got me these because you know when I'm out and about and I use voiceover on my phone it can be very difficult to you know text when I'm on the train because a I have to put headphones in so I'm completely completely sensory dep deprived that was really hard to say because I can't see and I can't hear so if the ticket man came round unless he touched me there'd be no way I'd know he was there or I don't use earphones and I let everyone on the train hear what I'm texting. So you can see how it was a little bit of a problem like when I was out and about I wasn't allowed to use my phone like a normal, you know, a, a normal young adult because everybody would hear my stuff or I'd be putting myself at risk. So these earphones allow me to be able to still use my phone and work with it but also because they're not covering my ears I can still hear people talking to me in traffic and whatnot um, and I have used them a few times they are great the only complaint I have with them is obviously they are built as a one size so most people have normal size heads and I have a small head so they when I'm walking quite fast which is usually all the time because I'm a fast walker sometimes they slip and I have to readjust them but I'll I'll get used to it. They are a godsend. Another present I got is actually on my bed and I don't want to show you guys because it's all nicely laid out and folded and I would have to shush it all up and move everything off my bed and it's just a hassle but it is the softest silvery grey throw. My mum actually gave it to me on Christmas Eve along with penguin jammies which I can't show you because they're they're dirty. They're actually in my, the dirty washing basket. Um, she gave me them on Christmas Eve so on Christmas Eve I had my fluffy soft grey blanket in my 
penguin pyjamas which was like the best Christmas Eve cosy present ever. I think that's everything I've told you that I've used. You know how when I do hauls and whatnot I say to you I like to keep everything in mint and pristine condition. Well everything I've showed you up until this point are things I've been using so now the things I'm pulling out I haven't touched because I wanted to wait until I filmed this video before I tidied my room. My room is still full of Christmas bags. It is a mess. To go along with the cosy penguin theme, my parents got me a penguin hot water bottle. I haven't used it yet. I don't know why. Like, I had penguin jammies, a, a fluffy grey throw. Why didn't I use this guy? Like, oh, he's adorable. So he's just got a little hat, which looks white to me, but I don't know if it is. And um, he's he's just adorable. My mum obviously got me him because obviously I've got a whole penguin theme going on. So I can't wait to use him. I want to use him before the warm weather comes in. But we live in Scotland so I could probably get away with using this in like mid-June. So, if you guys didn't already know by now, if you don't, you're not a regular viewer of my channel. But I love tea. I drink tea every single day. In fact, if I don't have a cup of tea, at least one cup of tea a day, I'll lose my mind. And we have a coffee machine in our house, but you know, it pumps out hot water as well. But it's not boiling hot water that you would get from a kettle, it's like warm but not boiling. And I drink tea very, very slowly, so when I used to take it out of the coffee machine, by the time I would finish my tea, it would be stone cold and I would have to pop it in the microwave. And now I can't use the coffee machine because it's touch, it's a kind of touch screen, so touch screens can be very, very difficult for blind people to use if there's no voice activated feature on them. So we have a kettle in the house, but it's not a proper kettle, it's like a little travel kettle, so it's a bit of a pain in the back side because I have to turn it on at the wall and then you know how normal kettles when they boil they automatically turn themselves off well this one doesn't you have to like turn it off so you actually have to stand and watch it otherwise your water will over boil and spill everywhere not anymore long winded explanation my parents got me my own little kettle and the first thing I asked them was what colour is it? Because my mum recently got me like a pink pot so I was kind of hoping it was like a cute little pink kettle but it's not, it's just like a a boring adult colour but I don't care, I've got my own little kettle now so now I can make tea, plug it in and it'll turn itself off and I won't have to like stand and hover around for 20 minutes waiting for the kettle to boil so I cannot wait to get this out and use it. I just realised I said to you guys that all the presents I'm going to be showing you now are the ones I haven't used. I forgot one present. Because I'm really into running in the treadmill right now, my parents got me a pair of like workout leggings. But they're in the bathroom right now and I don't really particularly want to show them because I've used them quite a few times. So they're probably a bit grubby looking. But they are like greyish blackish leggings with little kind of pink greyish stripes or accents um, it's really hard to explain because that's the way people have explained it to me and I can't quite picture it but my mum says they're really pretty and I trust my mum and they are really comfy and so much better to run in than my old Primark joggy bombs so keeping in the theme with bottoms my parents got me really cute um, burgundy, I want to call these jeggings. They are, they're kind of legging material, definitely like workout legging material, but they're not, they're not leggings. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but the zips, I imagine the zips to be gold, but they are just really cute burgundy jeggings and they feel really stretchy and really comfy and I can imagine they would look boss paired with like the hoodie I'm wearing just now. I'm just really into like burgundy and plum colours just now, like all the autumn colours. It's, it's winter now 
and I'm getting into all the autumn colours and by the time spring comes round, you know, when the colours like mint green and, and pastel colours are coming out, I'll still be into like burgundy and plum and I'm always a little late on to the bandwagon but these feel super comfy, I can't wait to wear them. The next present I got, I don't want to talk too much about because this present is so ingenious and so inventive and I think so thoughtful and considerate for um, a visually impaired person who loves candles that I actually want to film a whole separate video on it so I don't want to talk too much about it. You may or may not have heard of them but they are called, it's a company called Sensi and they sell burners and different like wax tarts and smells. Now you know how the your usual burners, you have a, a burner and you put the, the wax tart on the top and you light the tea light and then you get a nice smell. What makes Sensei so special is there is no flame or no fire or no smoke involved. It's all plug-in electric. It's completely safe. Um, no fire involved whatsoever. So you can imagine how amazing that is for someone who's visually impaired, not having to light a candle and be terrified they're going to burn themselves. All you need to do is plug it in and the smells are incredible. So I've actually got two. My mum got me one for Christmas and Jake got me one a couple of weeks ago as well. So this is actually the one my mum got me for Christmas. It's still in its box. I haven't opened it up or used it yet. And the one I'm using just now is over on the other side of my room. I have it on just now. And I have the scent Christmas Cottage. And it smells exactly what you think. It smells like Christmas. But I got Christmas Cottage scents. I got two lemon sorbets and two coconut lemongrass because Jake got me a lemon sorbet and a coconut grass and my mum got me those two as well. So cannot wait to use them. The scents from Scentsy are incredible. I'm really excited to try Hug and a Mug, that was one of my favourites, and Painted Leafs. So I definitely want to order some of them. But I'm not going to talk too much about it or show you or anything because I'm going to film a whole separate video on it. And just because I know they watch my videos, I'm going to give a big shout out to my godmother Audrey. Hi Audrey! And my great aunt and uncle. And I just want to say thank you so so much for your Christmas presents. I really really appreciated them. And you're probably thinking, oh what did you get from them? Well, I will show you. I'm probably showing it upside down or all around, but for my great aunt and uncle I got this Here Comes Betty bath set. I don't know what to call it, a bath set. Basically in this set you've got hand lotion, body lotion, body polish, bubble bath, shower gel, um, I think there's a bath bomb in there as well. It's just a big awesome bath set and you cannot go wrong with bath stuff with me because I, I love this stuff and it, I think it's all peach scented which again is one of my favourite scents so you cannot go wrong with that. I have tried the peachy keen hand lotion and it smells really really nice because my mum got it for Christmas last year from a friend and she gave me it as a stocking filler as well. So I got that last Christmas too, so it's funny. I always get some sort of Here Comes Betty product every Christmas. But I haven't tried anything else in this box and it's all peach scent, so I cannot wait. And this year, surprisingly enough, I got rid of or I used a lot of my shower gel and body lotions because I thought a lot of people would get me shower gel and body lotions, but other than my great aunt and uncle, other than this big awesome bath set, I never really got much toilet stuff unless I asked for it. But thank you so much, this will get loved. And my godmother got me these kind of slipper socks or booties. Oh, they're actually all furry inside I didn't realize so they're a nice cream color and I do prefer 
I don't really like slippers. I don't know why, I never have. But I do like the booties or the socks style and I'm really glad I got these because the ones I'm wearing just now were my grand's old ones. They don't fit me. They're a size 8 and I'm a size 5. They do not fit me. They're really grubby. So I needed new slippers and I felt kind of left out because all of my family members were getting new slippers and I wasn't. And my mum was like, you don't like slippers. And then finally somebody gave me slippers. So these are from Jane Norman, I believe, and they are very warm and fluffy inside. Cannot wait to use these. She also got me Yankee Candle tea lights in the scent Wild Mint, which I was really excited about because, as you guys know, I love Yankee Candle, I love candles, and Wild Mint is one of my favourite scents. And there's quite a few good tea lights in there, I ain't counting them, but there's quite a lot. So I'm probably one of these people that would probably like three or four at one time in my room. So thank you for that, I will definitely put all of my presents to good use. And thank you to Jake for the presents he got me as well. Again, I'm not going to show everything he got me, I'm only going to show a few things. So. I have to show this and it is a lush thing. I'm sorry it's not as well presented as it was. It has been opened and it smells amazing. Oh, maybe a bit too strong. But I haven't used anything in here. I just, I'm not bragging, I promise. I just really wanted to show you guys this uh, lush gift set because it's an exclusive from Oxford Street. So everything in this box is Christmas Oxford Street exclusives so you can only get them at Christmas and you can only get them at Oxford Street and I was so so happy because I'm not going down to his house this year so it was really thoughtful and considerate of him to pick me these up and they're not in the lush Oxford Street anymore so I think they're completely sold out as well so I don't want to use these I can't remember all the names, but I'll show you some of them. No, I, I, I have to show you this. Where is it? Where is it? Right. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready? It's a cloud! It's a soap! It's a bar of soap and it's a cloud! It's a cloud! Come on, we have to get excited. Like... I have a soap for my YouTube channel now. Like when I opened it up and I felt it, I was like, is that a cloud? And then my mum read it and I can't remember what this is called. Um, but it did have cloud in the name and I'm like, oh my goodness. It, out of all the products in the box, it's the one that has my least favourite smell. It's not that it doesn't smell nice, it does. It's just not like, ah, it's a kind of fresh florally herbal scent but I don't care it's soap and it's a cloud and I'm freaking excited about it the other product in here I'm really excited about is this oh my lord it smells so good it kind of feels like to me either a combination between a mushroom and a cupcake it definitely smells like a cupcake. It's Snow Fairy Naked Con Body Conditioner. So if you've ever heard of body conditioner, that's like the conditioner you put on in the shower and then it works the same way as conditioner for your hair, except instead of putting it in your hair, you rub it all over your body. So it's like body lotion you use in the shower. So I don't know what the difference between a naked conditioner and um, an another one is, but it's in the Snow Fairy scent. And it literally smells like a creamy snow fairy cake. Oh, oh, it's incredible. Another, the other thing in here is, I think it's called Plum Rain. It's Plum something. And it's a bubble bar. And it smells exactly like, I have a body spray from Lush. Again, it's an Oxford Street exclusive and it's called Plum Rain. It smells like that in a bubble bar. So you guys already know that I love that scent. 
and the last thing in here is a bath bomb I think it's called thunderstorm or storm something I love I remember my mum reading the name and just thinking that's a really cool name and it has a really kind of sweet vanilla -y scent but that's everything in the box so really excited because everything in that box I've never had before and they're all Oxford Street Christmas exclusives which is funny because other than the Snow Fairy body conditioner the other ones don't particularly have Christmassy names do they? or Christmassy scents for that matter and the last present I'm going to show you is another one from Jake and I have to because it is Disney a little tradition Jake always tends to get me for my birthday either um, not either he always gets me a Disney mug on my birthday or my Christmas he was the one that got me it hooked into Disney mugs he bought me my first ever Disney mug last Christmas so covered in tissue paper first of all this mug comes with a little spoon. You can't see the spoon bit because it's covered, but it comes with the cutest little spoon. So you can imagine the size of the mug if it comes with a spoon. It's not just any mug. It is the hugest mug you've ever seen. So it's a mini mug and it's got the hugest handle and it's actually got the ears that stick up and everything. It's a proper, I think it's designed to be a soup mug. But fun fact about me, I hate eating soup from a mug. So I will still use this as a tea mug. Like, believe me, I will happily drink a tea out of that. I'm, I'm a tea jenny, so happily. Or I would eat maybe like ice cream or something like that in it with my little spoon or noodles or some, something like that. But I will not be using it for soup. But I just love how it's got the sticky out ears and everything and it comes with a little spoon. It's really, really cute. So that is everything I got this Christmas. I was a very lucky girl this Christmas and on a kind of sadder, deeper note, this was my first Christmas with my sight, you know, being blind so it was quite a hard Christmas because I couldn't see the things but that didn't stop me from having a really nice Christmas and you know being surrounded by people I love and care about because that's what Christmas is all about at the end of the day it's not about what you got it's about being surrounded by the people you love and having a nice time so please feel free to leave down in the comments what you got for Christmas I would love to hear I uh, hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I just realised I'm filming this on New Year's Eve so by the time this goes up it will be the new year so happy new year guys I hope 2017 treated you well and my next video will be my year in review so you'll hear all about my year and how 2007 2007 2017 treated me so I'll talk to you in a year's time bye guys Someone's in the kitchen with